Jennifer Lawrence reunites with ex-Darren Aronofsky in New York City. They reportedly split in November after their horror movie Mother flopped in theaters two months earlier, but it looks as if Jennifer Lawrence and director Darren Aronofsky may be back on as the actress and the director were spotted walking into a residence in New York City on Wednesday. The 27-year-old bland beauty was holding her dog Pippi as the 48-year-old film vet laughed with ease while they walked on a busy street with no pals in tow. The Silver Linings Playboy actress looked stylish in a long light gray coat over a black top with skinny jeans and white tennis shoes. A designer purse hung from her shoulder and she had on dark sunglasses as she held onto Pippi and balanced her cell phone. The Vogue cover girl had her blonde locks worn up and was wearing light makeup for the outing. Darren had on a black puffy jacket over a t-shirt with dark slacks and maroon sneakers with a light gray newsboy cap. The director added tinted sunglasses and had his signature stubble. Though Jennifer looked more shy as she turned to Darren often, he laughed easily and did not seem to be bothered that they had been spotted. It is not known what residence they walked into. The property appeared to be a single family home. The two have dated for one year when it was claimed they broke up in November. A source told that the split was amicable and they planned on staying friends. They were last seen together at the Governor's Awards in Los Angeles in mid-November, though they were already reportedly split at the time. They sat together. Lawrence previously dated her ex-men co-star, Nicholas Holt, and was romantically linked to Coldplay's Chris Martin in 2015. When Jennifer and Darren were together from mid-2016 until late 2017, they seemed very smitten with each other even though they have an over 20-year age difference. In September she gushed to Ed about Darren, he's just brilliant, incredibly instinctual, he called her once in a generation talent. Well, I don't know what makes her great maybe it was her parents, maybe it was the Kentucky water, he joked, I have no idea, but she's, like, a once in a generation talent and just a whirlwind and a hurricane and an earthquake and a thunderstorm of talent. Before that Lawrence talked about her early days with Darren, who has a son Henry, 11, with film star Rachel Weisch, I had a crush on him when he pitched to me, and that was like a year before we started rehearsing, but he was a professional, which only made it worse for me, she explained, we just kind of formed a friendship. He knew how I felt, he never told me how he felt, I mean, I assumed, we just formed a friendship and then the friendship turned into a partnership for the movie, once we started working, and then once the movie was done, I was like, alright, you're my boyfriend, j -Lock has several new projects lined up, she is in post-production on 2018's X-Men, Dark Phoenix where she stars as Raven slash Mystique, and she is also on post-production on Red Sparrow, another 2018 film, in this one she plays ballerina Dominika Igorova, who is recruited to Sparrow School, a Russian intelligence service. The beauty is forced to use her body as a weapon, according to him.com, but her first mission, targeting a CIA agent, threatens to unravel the security of both nations. She has also been announced to star in Bad Blood about entrepreneur Elizabeth Holmes who creates a biotech company that skyrockets her to fame with an estimated value in the billions. When federal agencies begin investigating the company, her integrity is called into doubt. Meanwhile, Darren is on post-production on his National Geographic event series documentary One Strange Rack with Will Smith. According to Variety, it will tell story of Earth and why it is special and uniquely brimming with life among a largely unknown but harsh cosmic arena.